Hey guys, welcome to Cooking with Angel. I am your host, Angel, and I'm gonna make some chili today. I actually made chili last year around this time, and I'm gonna do it again this year because Crystal liked it, but I'm gonna use a different recipe this time, so I don't know if I'm even gonna like it, but hopefully she likes it at least. So I'm gonna get like tomato sauce, uh, I think there's onions in it. Ooh, don't really like onions, but I might get like onion powder or something. I think there's garlic in it too. I don't think I put garlic in it last year. Maybe I did, I need to watch that video again. But anyway, I have to go pick up all the ingredients and all that stuff. Crystal might help me later. I actually don't know because she's out shopping with her sister, so I don't know when she's gonna come back. But if she does come back, you can believe she's gonna help me. All right, so I just got to the store. I need to get the ingredients up first. It says I need canned tomato puree. Does that just mean tomato sauce? I'm assuming. Oh, I see diced tomatoes. Oh, right there puree it says i need 28 ounces is that 28 ounces bam right there 28 ounces it turns out i need diced tomatoes as well um those are diced but it needs to be 28 ounces wait is this diced oh it's got basil garlic and oregano i don't think i want that that might change it um what about this one on um, natural uh nothing enriched tomato juice um i think it's always gonna be in tomato juice right Oh, this is so hard. How do people cook? How do people cook? Uh, I'm just gonna get this one. I'm just gonna get this one. Looky what's on the same aisle. Dark red kidney beans. Uh, let's see, these should be fine. I think it says dark red. Um, there's light red. But we're just gonna go with dark red because that's what it's calling for. I need two of them. It says I need a quarter cup of chili powder, but it doesn't look like you can buy chili powder by the cup or by the quarter cup. So I guess I just get a cup of the chili seasoning mixes like that one up there or this one's mild chili I guess I don't want it too hot so I think if I get a couple of these I mean it's 1.25 ounces I mean let's just get three just to be safe and we can always use it another time where do they keep the cayenne pepper hmm I think it's cayenne is that how you pronounce it cayenne cayenne who knows uh, <laughs> what the heck look at this they have butt rub if you can't find cayenne pepper get some butt rub um, okay, let's not get the butt rub. Cayenne pepper... Oh, wait, 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 here it is, here it is. Oh, uh, I only need a little bit. The last thing I need are the crackers. They're the best part. And here they are. Oh, they're buying one, get one free, heck yeah. So these are the ones I get anyway. Buy one, y'all get one free. I said, y'all buy one, you get the other one free. So I'm home now. I got all the ingredients here on the countertop. I got everything I need except for like a, a spatula or whatever because whenever I'm cooking the meat because you actually have to cook the meat first with the I think the vegetables I have to dice those up actually so that's the first step is dicing up the vegetables so I actually lied the first step is get an awesome apron because you don't want to get dirty and check out mine look at that that's awesome chop 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 poof look at that magic after you battle cutting those onions you're ready to go to the next step and the next step is to put it all into the uh, pot they called it a Dutch oven. I don't know exactly what that means, but it's just a pot. Got to put the um, the vegetables in there. Got to put the salt, the cayenne pepper, and then the chili powder. So it turns out that one of these packets of mild chili seasoning mix is almost a quarter of a cup. I don't know if this is enough, though, for two pounds of meat. According to the recipe I'm going to use, it says it's enough, but on the back of this thing, I was actually looking on the back of it, and it says that this is made for one pound of ground beef, so, I don't know, should I put another one in? I'm thinking I should, but I'm probably not going to since I'm going by a new recipe here. I don't want to mess anything up. So, this is pretty much supposed to stay in here until the um, vegetables soften up. Um, they don't look like they're softening up that much yet. It's supposed to take like seven minutes, but who knows how long it's going to take. Does that look soft enough to you? Um, it looks soft enough to me, so I'm going to go to the next step. The next step is getting the meat into there without touching the meat because you don't want to touch that. Ugh! Nobody wants to touch those worms. So how do you get this in here? Can you just hold it over here without touching it? I don't want to touch it. I don't really have a phobia of me. I just don't want to... Ugh! There we go. I just don't want to touch it. <laughs> so that's one pound. Now I got to get the other pound in there. I'm trying to be very careful not to touch this here because that's just disgusting. Bam! So this has to be in here until it cooks. It says to break it up with a wooden spoon. Um, I don't know where a wooden spoon is, so look at this. It's breaking up just fine. So he's got to put it in here, leave it in here. Why is it brown in the middle already? Is that normal? Someone's got to let me know. It looks like it's already cooked in the middle. I don't know if that's normal or not, but it says cook it or simmer it or do something until it's all brown. 
I mean, half of it's already cooked, it looks like. That's weird. So for anyone else out there wondering, why was that meat brown in the middle? Well, I got an answer. At least I think I have an answer. I had to look it up because I was like, that is weird and I'm not going to be eating weird food. I mean, it's weird enough as it is because look at it, it looks like worms. But anyway, I looked it up and it says that it can turn brown um, due to the lack of oxygen. So the outside was pink or red or bright red, whatever color you want to say it was. And that makes sense because, you know, oxygen could actually get to it. But I guess it can't really get to it in the middle because it's covered up by the outer meat. Um, let's just go with that one. Let's go with that theory. So while that pink is getting uh, cooked out of that beef, I actually need to drain the beans. I did not know that was a thing. You got to actually drain them. I thought you were supposed to use the juice. Extra flavor. Nope. Apparently not. You need to uh, drain them and then rinse them. I guess, I don't know what's going on here. They just don't like that juice in this recipe. Rinse in the dirty beans, rinse in the dirty beans. Gotta rinse those dirty beans because they are dirty beans. So all the pink is gone. So I guess the meat's like fully cooked now. So I can add the beans. Where's the beans is? The beans is over here. It says stir in the beans. I think it's kind of weird to put the beans in so early, but I mean, it says that's okay. <laughs> then I need to put in the, what is this? The diced tomatoes with the sauce or with the liquid it says okay so I think that's good and I actually got tomato sauce instead of tomato puree I hope there's not a difference um, oh man I might have should have used a bigger pot maybe that Dutch oven thing was right I don't even know what that is but I think we might need to get one crystal we need a Dutch oven so yeah then I got to bring this to a simmer and once it simmers um, lower the heat for a slow simmer. I don't know what a slow simmer is, but I'm gonna have to learn what it is today. It's simmering away now. Look at it in there. I think it's actually simmering a little too too fast. I need it to be more slow, please. While that's in there simmering away, I'm gonna eat this big cookie. It's no longer the big cookie because I've eaten half of it already. Like, um, it's not hard anymore, surprisingly. It's actually got soft and so now I can eat it. Crystal actually came home, but then she left again. And now she's at her mom's doing something. I have no idea what she's doing there. All I know is if she's not here, when that food is done, I'm gonna eat without her. Ooh, this smells amazing! I am so impressed, Angel! Look who decided to show up right when the food's done. Hello. That's Crystal <laughs> for you. No, does that sound familiar, Angel? What? Sounds like you. Yeah, because you always cook, right? <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah. Does this look better than last year? Yes! You're not supposed to say that. You're supposed to say it looks I mean, just as good. It looks just as good, Angel. <laughs> it will taste yummy just like last year, except this year looks better. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so wow. I'm going to serve. Yeah, um, serve me, Angel. Serve me a right nice here. heaping bowl. A heaping bowl? Yes, a heaping bowl. Okay, I'm going to do this right here then, just so yes. I know if it's a heaping bowl. Do it, Angel. Do it. I'm just gonna put this, hold on. Stop rushing me, stop rushing me. I'm gonna burn myself. I'll wait patiently. So Crystal really likes it when it's soupy. I'm not so much in for the soupy. Yes. Make what sure, actually isn't that soupy? Make sure you get like, like lots of big chunky tomatoes in there as chunky well. Chunky tomatoes? Yes. So the chili is super duper hot right now. Super hot, it smells really good though. It's yes. Smell, it doesn't smell any different to me um, than last year, but. What? It smells different to you? It does. Angel smells more flavorful, so like more delicious. Put, what in the good. world? Um, what in the world, Angel? The bad thing with this is there's always crumbs everywhere. He's a monster. Oh, He's that's a only monster. Half of it. That's only half of it. Oh my it word. That's how you crunch your crackers? How are you supposed to? Like, like I'll show you. <laughs> what are you doing? Like you do it like this. You do it one by one? Like normal. That's going to take then, you all day. No, not really. You only do a little bit like this. Okay, I'm and watching. And then um, you eat that, and then you you can like refill it up with some more crackers. No, you're crazy. That's gonna get so like soaked and yucky. It's I like mine. Good. I like oh mine to be mushy. God. Look at this. It's <laughs> <laughs> a pile. That is a mountain. That's a volcano you know, of crackers. I want, what I basically what I like to get is a side of chili with my crackers. Exactly. That's pretty much what I like to get. Are you gonna try it? Yes, I'm blowing on it because I really want to try it. Oh, yeah, I want you to try it because so neither good. one of us have tried it yet. So it might need salt. It might need pepper. We don't oh, know. Yeah, I don't know. Here we go. Okay, here it is. How is it? Oh. <laughs> it's banging on the table good. It's so good, Angel. <laughs> it tastes so fantastic. Does it taste better than last year? You better not say it does. You better not say it does. It does. Oh, you're so mean. It does, Angel. It does. Are you saying it that? It doesn't. It doesn't. Did you say last year's was nasty? No. 
didn't say that. <laughs> so the chili was really, really tasty. I mean, I didn't have much chili. I had more crackers than chili, but it was still really good. Crystal seemed to enjoy it. I enjoyed it, she enjoyed it, so it was good. I don't know where Crystal's at. She's like, she's somewhere. I don't know where she's at right now, but I'm gonna end the video here because it's Cooking with Angel. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye.